Welcome back to Greg's Arcade, which looks eerily similar to the Brickitech Studio. Today I've got a haul to share with you for the Switch. Not a game, something a little more special than that. Something that's actually pretty difficult to get, but I saw pop up on a deal. Uh, this is one of those things, but not the rarest of things. What I'm trying to get to is inside this box here. These brown boxes have ruined my entire surprise, but uh, I will try to find my way inside this so I can show you what I got to make my Nintendo Switch Online gaming a little bit more fun. There's a hint for you. Inside here, possibly. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for, and you probably have as well. It's the Nintendo Switch Nintendo 64 controller. And you're probably thinking, Greg, what the heck are you doing? Nintendo 64 was so 1996. It was, and it was glorious. And I've been really enjoying going back through and playing the older games on Nintendo Switch Online. And the one thing that kind of takes you out of it a little bit is the controller, in my opinion. So using, oh God, I just ripped it. I was gonna save this box. I'm not gonna save this box. Don't save the box, Greg. You don't need it. You don't need to save it. The thing that takes you out of the experience in my opinion, is using the Switch Pro controller. As nice as that is, it doesn't feel right. to be playing it with the, the classic controller that I am just having one heck of a time getting into. I think... <laughs> I quit. I just, I just can't. How does it feel? That's the question. That's what I'm trying to get to. It feels insanely accurate. Oh my God, it's been probably 20... Four years, maybe, since I felt a really good, just perfect N64 thumbstick. And this has that. You guys that play Nintendo 64 know how they get. Like, just awful. The powder's, like, coming off of it. It starts feeling like garbage. Man, that feels good. This is one of the weirdest controllers that you could ever imagine, just because of, like, the layout. I don't think Nintendo was entirely sure what they wanted to do. They're like, well, this is how we've always played games, right? But no, we're moving to a 3D world, but we're not fully confident in that world. So we're not gonna put it up here where it should be. Let's put it in the middle. That way all of the people that make games, they can still make 2D games and use the, the D-pad. No one did that. Everyone, it was, it was, you're always holding it like this, which is awkward, but actually feels pretty good. The, the Z button feels good. Everything feels just as you'd expect. The only odd thing is no rumble pack in here and uh, you can't even put your memory card in there. Man, this is unlocking a whole bunch of memories for me from my childhood. There's the start button. Most of you, geez, I wanna say you guys have probably seen this before. If you're watching this, you've probably seen a Nintendo 64 controller. Have you held one though? That's the question, probably not. But you have a chance to get one of these, although you don't really, because these are very difficult to get. I saw this deal posted on Slick Deals. It wasn't even a discount, it was just, these are available and they're not often available. So I went on there and I paid $50 to get a Nintendo 64 controller, which is just, it's still weird to say, but man, that feels pretty darn good. And it's gonna make my gaming experience playing Nintendo Switch Online just that much better and feel more authentic. It'll, it, I won't even know the difference other than it's gonna look better than what it would have looked like on my N64 Plus. I don't have to go into my storage room, try to find the thing, hook it up to a CRT TV, which is on the floor in the storage room and uh, get the cartridges out and all that stuff as much as that would be fun. Uh, I like the convenience of this and this is gonna be awesome. You're probably wondering what this box is. Well, it's something very similar, but you're gonna have to wait for me to actually open it up so you can see it. It's this one, I'm, I'm actually getting really good at opening. This is the Super Nintendo controller. I didn't have a Super Nintendo growing up and I've been going back through and playing these Super Nintendo games on the Switch. But again, I'm playing with the Pro Controller and it doesn't feel what in my opinion would be authentic. So this is an SNES controller. And this I, I have experience with because I got the SNES Classic or Mini or whatever it is. So I know what those controllers feel like. And I've played Super Nintendo a little bit in my life. And this feels pretty darn good too. It's weird not having a, a cable up here. You do charge these via USB-C. But uh, yeah, that looks just like what you'd expect of a Super Nintendo controller. And I'm glad to have that. That was only $30. So for some reason, they're charging 20 extra dollars for the N64 and 20 less for this. What's the difference? I'm sure internally these are very similar. I just think they're trying to capitalize on people like me that are like, oh, a Nintendo 64 controller. If only you could actually use this on the Nintendo 64. So I've got both of these. And if you've been following the channel for a little while, you probably know that I have the NES one as well. So I got the trifecta. 
All the controllers they sell, I've now purchased. I don't know what I've spent on all these, but probably more than what I should have. But man, I really love going back through and playing all those games they have on there. And there's just a ton of selection on Nintendo Switch Online. Lots of opportunities to relive your childhood or maybe experience things that you've never have before. And Nintendo Switch Online is so cheap for what it is with all that good stuff on there. It's like the Disney Plus of video games. So much content, so much value, not much money until you start buying all the controllers. Don't be like me unless you really like you grew up with one of these controllers and it just like pains you to not have it in your hands when you're playing your classic Mario. This I just checked is not available right now, nor has it been available since the day I purchased it, which was a little while ago. If I ever see it come up again, I'll try to post it on a community tab if you want to get one. But uh, those are the Nintendo Switch controllers that I now have. And I'm excited to play. And the next video that you watch will be me trying this out. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this haul and uh, disastrous as, as it was. And we'll see you in the next Greg's Arcade video.